What's happening, everybody? Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games. We're inside Lyra Starter Game. And I'm going to make this one kind of short. It's going to be a little quick uh, run through of where a few things are and answer a couple questions. Um, first, um, there are two folders. Um, you have your regular content folder. And you're going to see some extras in mine because I did uh, move Paragon Phase into the project uh, someone was asking me about uh, doing retargeting to Paragon characters, so I did that. But that's the only thing that should be different here. Um, this is the content drawer. Also, guys, um, this is like a C++ based uh, project, and it does have plugin. So you want to go down here to plugins, and you want to make sure you have that enabled to show engine content. So you just do that by going over here to settings and then making sure that you have this highlighted. Um, this will, can also show C++ classes. Um, if you're a Blueprint developer, you're probably not going to want to mess with that, but um, it's definitely going to give you more control if you do know C++ and you can uh, manipulate those files as well. But I'm going to get rid of the C++ for right now and keep this just on the Blueprint level. Um, these are the folders that you're going to have inside the blueprint. This is for the top down. This is for the shooter. This is the core. But the things that people have been asking me about, one is how did I get extra population uh, in the level. For that, you just want to type spawn and then bot. And you'll see both bot spawners here. This is for control point. So this is for the control point uh, uh, mode, and then this is for the shooter mode. You just click on this and open it. These are actually the blueprints located in the plugin folder. And number of bots to create. This is the number you want to change. So I literally just changed mine to 12. You can make it whatever you want, put 10. Um, keep in mind that each spawner is for a different mode. So um, if you're working, depending on what mode you're in, you can switch how many characters are on each mode. I'm just going to put 10 for each one here. And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to press play. It should do a quick pop and then spawn everybody. So that's how you get all your players on the screen. It's pretty easy. Um, real good for testing, especially testing um, how much, uh, how many frames are going to be absorbed by adding more characters. I'm going to let you guys know it's not very many, man. Um, it runs pretty good. Pretty impressive. To be honest, it's super impressive. So that's how you do that. Um, the other folder um, that I worked on was if you go to, you type dash, you can go to hero dash, and this is how I um, change the dash. You can change the strength of the dash, you can change the duration and the root motion duration, which always has to stay less than the ability duration, so you want to always make sure that this is a higher number than this is um, but the strength this is how i got the character to dash farther um there are also some directional things i haven't played with all of this yet um i just pretty much figuring it out as i go um i want to make sure that i know what i'm talking about before i tell you guys about it so that's pretty much how you uh, adjust the dash length um, there are some melee options and things as well. I'm not going to get into all that. I really just wanted to answer that question. Uh, a lot of people were wondering how I got uh, the spawn count to be up and have so many characters in a level. So that's how you do it. So once again, I'm going to go back, show you guys one more time. You got your content. So remember, you got this section of the kit, and then you also have plug-in folder so you just got to make sure you remember about the plug-in folder and if you're C++ savvy then you want to make sure you highlight the C++ options but here like I said you just type spawner and it's going to come up or you could type <coughs> spawner bot 
whichever, but those are the ones you want are the shooter bot spawner and uh, shooter bot spawner control point. All right. So that's it, man. I want to definitely give a shout out to all my subscribers as usual. Appreciate y'all, man. And um, I'll see y'all in the next video. Good luck to everybody that's working in the Unreal Engine. And hopefully this will help you guys. Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games. Thank <music> you.